Trigonix. Hey guys, Trigonix RS here, and today I'm gonna be setting up an ability bar for upcoming fights. Uh, well, upcoming fights where I'll be using shields and god swords and switching between the two, and possibly a fight with Smokey 9112. Though I doubt it will happen. If it does, it'd be really cool. So, anyways, uh, like, here's the ability book. And we're going to start by setting off some basic abilities. Uh, to begin with, we're going to be looking for the stronger basic abilities. This requires dual wielded, and I'll just be skimming through some of the abilities. And we're going to be setting up a stun. A stun is very important in battle and serves very well. Other moves that are important... Well, I'll probably be setting up some basic abilities here with one weapon and then one with both weapons and then some shields in between. So this is also applicable for both weapons and it's quite strong. It deals decent damage, better than the first ability. I think I'll move the stun back there because I can use it for both. Uh, this is not useful in PvP because if you're melee versus melee, you're usually both up at the same spot against each other. Uh, so if not using dual wields, Havoc may not be as useful as it could be. So I'll come back to attack abilities. We're going to be going on to the basic abilities for defense. So this is another stun ability, which is equivalent to the backhand. I don't know if you can use both of them consecutively, but I'll add both of them in because a double stun is really important. I'll actually move that there. Uh, as we skim through these, Fury, I know it's useful. I've used it before, and it can be used for finishing co like finishing blows and combos. So it's useful once they're at low HP. Quake is a multi-target move, and for PvP, that's not very useful. There's Cleave. Assault is a very useful threshold, but I'll add that in later once I get to my threshold. And now we're going to be moving on to defense and see what defense has to offer. But before we go there, I think I might just add one more basic ability. And that'll be Slice. Now next, we have our shield abilities. I might remove Slice at any moment, but for now, it's fine. So, reducing all damage taking. This is very useful, especially at the beginning of fights and against Rangers and Majors. So, I think I'm going to have to remove Slice and put it in Anticipation. Uh, furthermore... This is useful, but I'm not sure if you can use all the stuns at once, so I might have to reconfigure this. I'll put that beforehand. Um, well, this apparently increases your damage dealt by 10%. Stacking up to... Uh, wait. An act of foes causing any attacks you receive to increase da your damage dealt. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Uh, this could actually be a really useful threshold, so I'll shove that in there. Because if I can use this and then switch to my Sarah Sword, and if it still remains active, then I can increase my DPS really, really high. So taunt your tar target reduced by 50% when attacking anyone other than yourself. However, you also take 50%. I don't find this useful because it's like a one for one effect, which I'm not a fan of. Uh, reflectability is useful when they're trying to get a KO, so I think I'll put this in as it's really useful. And it is a threshold ability. And uh, I'm sure there's a few others. So de de debilitate your target for up to 100% weapon damage. Also reducing any damage to deal to you by 50%. This is also very, well, seems useful. Of course, many of these seem useful, but after testing them, I'll decide what to take off and uh, what to add. So the next attack you will receive with an... Okay, this is very, very useful. I think I'm going to have to remove something. Or rather... 
Uh, where is it? Let's go. I'm gonna actually pop that in there, but I think I'm gonna have to take one of my defensive abilities. Oh, my threshold ability. So deflect. Uh. Well, I'm actually gonna take out revenge. I know it's useful and all, but uh, I don't think I'm gonna be using it. So then I'm gonna need my offensive threshold abilities. I will need assault because I know for a fact that that is very strong. Uh, Hurricane has 400%, which is also very high. I mean, I can hit like like really high 1Ks with that, which is good for dropping them. And since this is a PvP uh, tab, I don't think I'll have any or well, multiple ultimates. I might have one, one with KO potential. Like, uh, I can't seem to find one. I think Overpower can take out 25%, but I think there's this HP limit. Although, if there is no HP limit, it could be useful to have. D damage equal. Okay, so if they're under 25%, this could be an instant KO. So I will add it. And of course, oh, I will be swapping from blade to blade. Now, this is all I've got for this video. Just setting up the tab. I'll be testing this tab in the next video. Practicing for a possible fight against Monkey 9112. And other PV fights, uh, PvP fights and PK commentaries in general. Uh, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.